I was going on with y'all, man. So, and what man's for the females? In this video, we're going to talk about masculine and feminine energy dynamics because it's important for various reasons. On some physical stuff, right? In physical reality, people don't be understanding that stuff. And because of that, we have many problems in the world with different energetic imbalances and just different energetic misunderstandings, right? If you know, you know. If you don't, it eat what it eat. But on a more spiritual level, right? You are composed of mass. I mean, this is also on some physical shit too. You know what I'm saying? On all levels, right? You're composed of masculine and feminine energy, right? But if you don't even understand these energies, how can you even use them to operate inside your life in the best way? Because some situations you gotta be more passive and feminine, right? Other ones, you got to be more active and masculine. But I'm putting it in quotes because when I start getting to the Egyptian understanding, it's going to get way more advanced. Like, I'm going to start off with the yin and yang shit, right? But Egyptian mythology is really advanced. You know what I'm saying? Or I should say, in this sense, I mean, the mythology is advanced too. But I should really say Egyptian metaphysics, right? And the way that they explain the things that go beyond physics, right? So with that being said, let me first pull up yin and yang, right? So boom, right? When, you, when they explain yin and yang, right, they usually don't, like, when, when they have these descriptions, right, they're not including the dots, right? In Egypt, they include them with the dots. Here's what I'm saying that you're going to see later on in the video, right? But right now, you have yang, right, being order, day, masculinity, this is chaos, femininity, night. So this is, this is pretty much supposed to be active, light, masculine, you know what I'm saying? This is passive, feminine, dark. Like right here, it says, you know what I'm saying, dark, light, you know what I'm saying, day, night, passive, active, masculine, feminine, that's what it's supposed to be, right? But understand this, in Egypt, it's a bit different. You see, in Egypt, right, you have Asar, right? Now, Asar can be active, but he's actually seen as more of the passive one, and then she's more of the active one, Isis, right? Same with Thoth and Hathor. Thoth is the more passive, seemingly at first, and then Hathor is the more active, seemingly, at first. But here's how they describe it, right? You see, when it comes to masculine energy, right? Masculine is active, but it's also stable, you see? Feminine energy is receptive, but dynamic. Let me explain that. You see, Osiris, right? He has this shepherd's hook, and he has this flail, right? The shepherd's hook is a symbol of how Osiris could lead you to your soul because this is literally your soul. Like, oh, it could, you can't, my, my bad, bro. Hold up. The crook and the flail, right? So this crook is a symbol of how Osiris, which is a symbol of your soul, can lead you to your soul. You see what I'm saying? Because it's a shepherd's crook that leads sheep. So it leads your soul, right? And then this, the flail, right, is two things. One, it shows how... You need to have discipline for your soul, but it also shows how, you see, with this thing right here, right, it separates, like, different stuff off of seeds, right? The same way that Osiris could separate your soul from your body. You see what I'm saying? So, the one I want to talk about mainly is this crook, though, because it actually leads you to your soul, right? Like, it's playing an active role on you, right? But it's also disciplined and stable. You see what I'm saying? That's important because the stable aspect is why in Egypt, the man is not always as active because he's stable with the female, though. She's more receptive. You know what I'm saying? So you see this throne, right? A man sits on this throne. You know what I'm saying? Like Osiris sits on this throne. You know what I'm saying? And then Isis receives the information Isis receives the information from Osiris, right? But then she becomes dynamic and starts acting inside the world in a, in a dynamic, creative ass way. That's why girls was, that's why girls be on some <laughs> and guys be like, yeah, nigga, what's good? Yeah. Obviously, that's not how it exactly is, but you get my point. That's like the typical, like the man's like, yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. And the girl's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, huh? It's like 
they both have an active and passive aspect. It's just that with the female, right, typically she receives commands from the guy and then makes those commands some beautiful ass shit. It would be like if I said, now this is why I ain't gonna lie, like, like girls don't be liking that, men don't like setting up dates, but understand this, right? Y'all be having the creative minds, bro. Like, granted, I still set up a date. I don't give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? But understand this, right? Let me, let me, let me make myself big for y'all real quick. Hold up. Bro. The man, right, initiates on his active stable shit like, hey, yo, what's good? Trying to go on a date type shit. Once the girl say, yeah, then they be like, yeah, what the fuck you want to do? Because in the girl mind, y'all got that whole creative like, oh, we could do this and we could do that. and nah, nah, nah. Then, then y'all could give us some options type shit. Then we structure that shit. Like, okay, nigga, let's, duh, 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 you know what I'm saying? It got to be a back and forth. Like, it don't got to obviously be like that all the time. Because I, I get why girls don't like doing that shit all the time. But... That's why it's kind of like, that's why guys don't always like thinking about the date because that's some more creative, dynamic shit. Now, if you tell a guy, I want to do this, 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 and that, you know what I'm saying? They could usually be like, okay, let's do this. You know what I'm saying? They could like structure that bitch out because men are more like active. They initiate shit, but they're also stable. They're not all dynamic like, oh, we could do ha, ha, ha. They're more like, okay, yeah, and then yeah. That's why they're also so logical and, and women are more emotional. You see what I'm saying? Because emotions could be active or passive, but they're more dynamic and, ha, you know what I'm saying? And actually, I should say this. Emotions are actually are technically like you, you receive emotion. And then the emotion can make you act. But emotion is actually generated by thought. You know what I'm saying? Like, emotions are generated by thought. And understand that with thought, right? Thought makes electric waves. And electric waves scientifically, scientifically make magnetic waves, right? In science, they prove that thoughts make electric waves. And emotions are magnetic waves. So the same way that thoughts make emotions, right? Or the same way that electricity makes magnetism, right? Is the same as, is the same as your thoughts making emotions, right? So the thought is active right it's like yo bro was good then you feel this dynamic ass feeling ah, you know what i'm saying it's like the thought comes through it's active but it's stable in its structure then the emotion it received that thought and then became this expressive ass dynamic ass emotion you see what i'm saying so it's like that's how you could understand masculine and feminine right like when it comes to osiris right in the mythology right he was the king of Egypt, right? And he did give out commands and he did teach you. He, he did all that, right? At some point, my man's got murked. His body was split all over Egypt. And it was Isis who went around searching for him and stuff like that, right? She was, like she played a more active role inside the story than Osiris. But she was acting in the service of Osiris. With this throne once again, right? The reason why she has a throne is because she is a symbol of your transcendental awareness or of your soul's awareness so you have your actual soul then your soul's awareness and wisdom right your soul sits inside of your soul's wisdom because you have the opposite of isis right which is her twin sister nebethet right this is actually this is why osiris died you know what i'm saying because osiris ended up sleeping with nebethet a lot of y'all be sleeping with nebethets and then and then, and then y'all wonder why your life going bad you know what i'm saying Look, I'm about to put you on game, bro. And she has the throne upside down. Here's why I'm... Look, man, let me... Man, look, y'all... Man, look, Egypt knew what they was doing. Y'all be thinking, oh, they worshiped deities and false gods. No, y'all just didn't understand the system. Y'all got finessed. That's what happened to y'all. That ain't happened to me, though. So you got Nebeth there, right? You know, they... Tw like... They twin sisters, right? So one day, Osiris got drunk. You know what I'm saying? He got drunk as shit. And, and he stepped out of his soul's awareness. He's drunk as fuck. Because he drunk, he couldn't tell if, he couldn't tell that this and this was different. He couldn't tell. So he ended up sleeping with, and the thing is, Nebethet seduced him like, hey, because her being soul awareness, she's ego and mortal awareness. So because Osiris got drunk, he stepped out his soul's awareness and started fucking with that mortal awareness. And then Set, right, which is, Set is the ego. So Set and Nebethet, right, are husband and wife. You know what I'm saying? Set is the ego, right, who is Set and peep game with this, right? Set, let me do Set and Nebethet too. You, see, you know, I ain't even plan on doing this shit, but nigga, y'all gonna get di all different kinds of fucking, of fucking, of fucking masculine and feminine, feminine energy dynamics. Y'all gonna get it all, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Pfft. Because Set and Nebethet are different than Osiris and Isis. And it gives you a chance to see different ways that masculine and feminine energy act and stuff like that. You see what I'm saying? So with that being said, right, boom, you have Set, right? 
Now, Set and Osiris are brothers because you have your soul and your ego. Two sides of the same coin, right? You know what I'm saying? So, then you have Nebetheb, which is ego awareness, and then Isis, soul awareness, right? These two are twin sisters. You see what I'm saying? Now, understand this, right? Hold up. Why did... Hold up. Hold up. My fault. I got a text and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so with Set being the ego, right? This man is always trying to take over Egypt type shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then she, she just do, she just do female mortal shit. So like while she's out here going around, spreading knowledge, teaching niggas, she out here motherfucking partying, doing all that shit, trying to fuck on Osiris and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? She don't even fuck with set like that. It's funny because niggas, you see, like, 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 like the, the, the fucking, the fucking physical mortal girl. Still trying to fuck with a nigga who in tune with his soul like that. And that's why niggas will be, niggas will be in tune with their soul. They get bitches. I ain't going to lie. You know what I'm saying? That's facts. You know what I'm saying? They do. Like They, they have the ability to, I should say. You know what I'm saying? Niggas will be on that ego. I mean, ego, ego niggas do get bitches. I ain't going to cap, which is why he's married to Nebethet. But peep, these, these niggas never have good relationships. The, the, the bitch always doing wild shit. You know what I'm saying? So if you peep game, right? When shit is, when shit is, when, when, when you're inside your proper masculine and feminine, right? You know what I'm saying? You could be you could be leading people to their soul. You know what I'm saying? You that active, stable ass man who sit inside the throne of the beautiful woman, and the woman is happily being I wanna say led, but she's happily receiving your input and then making it even more beautiful. You see what I'm saying? Inside this shit, yeah, your motherfuckers is married and shit like that, but she's still going out partying, trying to fuck on Osiris and stuff like that, cheating on you and stuff like that. You getting mad and shit, trying to conquer everything and stuff like that, trying to get fucking money. Or, you, know, you just, you, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. So, he be on some active shit too, right? But it's like, he be on some stable, like he, oh, he, like he has a steady mission of, I want to take over Egypt. Like that's his form, that's his way of being stable and structured, being controlling, you see? So he's active and controlling, you see what I'm saying? He's like this controlling figure, which is more of like a, like, like when you control something, you make it stagnant. So you make it more still, you know what I'm saying? And then with Nebethe, right, she, she, she's not trying to like really do anything. She just feels emotion it's just like oh i just want to party i want to drink i i want to fuck osiris i want to you know what i'm saying she's that's that's what the fuck she like right so when osiris right when, when osiris got about his bag got about that soul awareness and got in that mortal awareness right he got killed by the ego and it's pretty much saying that when you step about your soul's awareness right you tap into your ego and then your ego disintegrates your soul that's why he cut up he cut up osiris and disintegrate literally Making your soul get unintegrated. Like, when your soul's sitting down, it's integrated. When it gets the fuck up, it's unintegrated. When you get the fuck up and get on some mortal awareness shit, you know what I'm saying? Your ego cuts you the fuck up, disintegrates you, you know what I'm saying? Now you married to Nebethet because you set at this point, you know what I'm saying? And her throne's upside down because you're disintegrated, you know what I'm saying? She's the, she's the opposite of transcendental awareness. And in fact, they actually say that when you sit inside the throne of Isis... When you sit, like, let's say this is the throne of Isis, right? And I'm Osiris, right? When I sit in, when I sit down inside this throne, everything I see around me is Nebethet. Because she's also the energy that makes physical objects. But Isis is the spiritual energy that doesn't become physical. So when I'm inside my spiritual awareness, right, I could see all the physical shit and say, that's a Nebethet. That's an illusion. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want to get, I, like, because I'm sitting inside the throne and I'm stable inside my awareness, I can't get caught up by the external world. If I get the fuck up, though, and I start fucking with shit, I'm, I'm now interacting with the physical world and I could, get, I, could get, I could get caught up inside that bitch, you know what I'm saying? But sitting down inside the throne, I'm inside my own awareness, right? I could still sit down and call shots like, yeah, do that, do that. I could sit down, I could start typing up PowerPoints. I could, I could still get active, right, but I'm stable, in my own awareness, you know what I'm saying, I'm stable, I, I'm also Osiris shit stable, sitting down in my own awareness, right, you know what I'm saying, right, and people, even with the chair, you peep how, so it's like, the throne, like, me sitting down is a structured action, right, you know what I'm saying, and then with this chair, this is perfect how this, how, how, how this, how this shit played out, inside this chair, I could move around, I could roll around, so Isis literally is the throne, and it's like, Isis is like move like I, like Isis is moving right, 
But she's only moving because I'm making her move. She's receiving my command. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, I could I could go over here and then get my fucking marker out. You know what I'm saying? Start drawing some shit on you niggas real quick. You know what I'm saying? Fuck around. You know what I'm saying? I could put that bitch back and I could start typing shit. But I stay grounded inside my own awareness. And then the chair, right? The chair is moving on some dynamic shit, but it's receiving the commands of me. So I'm actively giving commands to the chair, but I'm still staying inside the chair. That's why the man is active and stable, but the man, but the woman is receptive and dynamic, you know what I'm saying, and this nigga is fucking active and controlling his shit, he not stable, he controlling, you know what I'm saying, and then this girl is receptive and fucking, what's like a, what's a good word for, like, I want to say hedonist, hold on, let me look up a word real quick, hold up, nigga, she's receptive and indulgent, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> that's, that's the best word I could find, indulgent for right now, I could have probably kept going, but she's, she's receptive and indulgent, so instead of being, like, instead of being dynamic, like, oh, yeah, we're gonna, mm, she's like, oh, yummy, I want to do that, and I want to do this, and I want to do that, and I want to be all uh, physical shit, you know what I'm saying, so it's like, yeah, because she also represents physical pleasure, right, you know what I'm saying, and indulging in physical pleasure, you know what I'm saying, like, 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 like set is the person who indulges, inside of nebethet the actual energy you know what i'm saying because set and nebethet are two sides of the same coin also you know what i'm saying like 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 the 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 feminine side of set right right is nebethet but the equal opposite of set is osiris so set set and osiris are Equal masculine opposites. They're both masculine and equal but opposite. So like they're the same thing. They're the same masculine force in two different ways, either as the soul or as the ego. You know what I'm saying? But then set in Nebethet, right? Nebethet is the fem is the equal feminine opposite. You know what I'm saying? So these are the e these are the same thing, but the feminine side of it. You know what I'm saying? But the masculine and feminine sides of it, right? The same with Osiris and Isis, right? Osiris, right? He is the man, right? And Isis is his equal feminine opposite. So these are the same person, but one's masculine, one's feminine. And these are the same person, but two sides of the masculine energy. You see what I'm saying? So I hope that could make sense for y'all. This is why Egypt is way more advanced than a lot of shit that niggas be trying to act like. Oh, Egypt, nigga, they was worshiping false deities. No, nigga, you was worshiping false deities. I was fucking with these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Fuck niggas talking about. Fuck niggas talking about. So, um, yeah, easy way to see it, bro, active and stable, receptive and dynamic. The man is, write this down, my heart is going off, it's like someone just tapped my heart right now. Write this down, the man is active and stable, and the female is receptive and dynamic. Now, understand that men can be dynamic too, but even when doing, like with me, right, me making a PowerPoint can be seen as being dynamic as fuck, right? But I still structure that shit. That's why it's a fucking PowerPoint. Because I have to structure that. Like, nah, nigga, this slide is for this. This slide is for this. So I can still be creative and do my shit. But it's more structured and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Now, with females, right? I be seeing females get, get the fuck on YouTube and just fucking put the camera up and just start talking and shit like that. How the fuck I used to do that shit? They be having more, they be having more subscribers than me. They be like, they be talking about fucking like mental health shit, emotional health shit. They be having more subscribers than me. Now, I'm not hating, but that's just goes to show you with, fe with females, bro. You just got to sit down, be pretty. You can still spit facts. I'm not saying they're not spitting. They spitting facts, but it's like, this is shit that's like I was tapping into like years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like basically like, oh, yeah, you have a soul. You have a mind. You don't got to think too much. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like stuff like that. And it's like. They just express that shit in a dynamic, pretty-ass way. Who don't want to follow these niggas? I'm over here. Yeah, I may have a PowerPoint or a document, but I'm sitting here yelling niggas, cursing. I, I'm, I'm a bit more like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas don't always want that shit. But they want the female. Ah, you have a soul in your soul, and, and the man is more The man's more stable. He's active and stable, and the female, you know, she's, she, she, she's receptive and dynamic. 
Like, that, they may sound better. It's all pretty and shit like that. It draws you in. It's all some dynamic shit. Me, I'm like, nigga, the man is active and stable. That shit made that. You may not want to hear that shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So, I understand it why the pretty female who could just be on some dynamic, just random. She could get mad shit. But me, it's just like, hey, I ain't going to, I ain't going to be like, <laughs> shit be wild. I was talking to my man about this shit. Like, I keep on, like, literally, I keep on having girls get recommended, it is always the same arch like they don't always look the same, but it's the same archetype of style and video what they talk about. And they always have more subscribers than me. Always. They could have just started yesterday. <laughs> I don't even be mad at this. I'm just like, damn, that's funny how like with girls it's easier, I feel like. You know what I'm saying? But um Cause I be giving out straight sauce. I ain't niggas be telling you, you be giving out like I have people be like, yo, 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 you don't have more you don't have more subscribers, you don't have more views. Hey, it is what it is. I don't care. I'm still happy where I'm at right now. I'm still growing and stuff like that. But it's like, yeah, that, that's real shit. When, when, you, when you got that when you got that receptive dynamic shit, you people just come to you and they like this shit, you know what I'm saying? With me, I got to kind of like get up in your face more and make a nigga like me. It's not on some like, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, but, um, I could get, I could go, I could go even deeper into this shit, bro. But I just want to, I'm going to end it right here for y'all. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's a, that's a cool basic way to understand it the man is active and stable and the female is receptive and dynamic with that being said drop a like for your boy because niggas don't be always explaining that shit like that i know that shit for effects i've been seeing it so um yeah i love you all i'm gonna catch you peace